私には仲間との約束があるんですもう少しだけ待っていてくださいラブーン What's going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we're having a look at the brand new Legend Brook. If you guys didn't see my YouTube short that I uploaded yesterday, we did a sneaky multi off screen ski on the Brook banner and for some reason he decided to show up so that's awesome. So now that I've pulled him, the Kizuna does start tonight as of the release of this video so make sure to get your Kizuna teams prepped but I wanted to get this video out before you know the whole celebration with Brook actually you know goes away. I want to get this done. So we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of a showcase with Brook, break him down and give you guys a bit of my opinions after using him just a little bit. And of course, he's going to be good in the Kizuna Clash. We all know that. But what's he going to be doing outside of the Kizuna Clash? So let's go ahead and start things off with his captain effect. Uh, captain ability wise, like it's it's pretty decent. You get the int slasher and free spirit boosting 5.75. I mean, that cannot be understated. 5.75 times captain is very, very good when you have a matching slot. 5.25 times otherwise, 1.3 HP, int and tandem slots are beneficial, boost chance of landing on tandem slots, and then if you use a special to get an orb boost, you extend it by one turn, and then the really neat effect with Brook, and one of the main reasons why you would probably want to use him as a captain, is that when you fall below 30% health, it automatically launches his special at the start of the next turn. Now, I believe it only does it once per quest, but you can use that to your advantage with the way that Brook's special actually works, being able to launch his special multiple times per turn is very beneficial so it's very interesting that he kind of enables you to do that automatically um but the real thing with brook is that you i mean captain ability wise it's usable it doesn't have utility it doesn't have any gimmick removal which is a real downside honestly but a 5.75 times captain is nothing to scoff at you can use him definitely just for raw damage uh or for some reason you, you want to use his super class which is a really good effect and i guess we can kind of touch up on now the super class effect does give himself minus 10 turns of cooldown kind of to enable him to use his special multiple times per quest and also removing six turns of bind very very good effect and a 1.4 chain addition for two turns and slashes become super slasher so honestly in terms of super class i don't really have any complaints i think this is a very good super class it's got utility it's got a damage boosting effect and it also gives himself some cooldown i think it's honestly really really strong and you can honestly use it in some cool use cases where if you're special reversed then you can use it to give himself cooldown to enable him to launch that special so i think that the the captain and the super class combination together it's fine it's respectable but it's definitely not something that's going to be clearing every single piece of content in the game it's very very strong but it's not that great because it doesn't have key utility pieces but it does enable you to hybrid him up with other great captains because he does have a very wide array of characters that, that he does get access of boosting he boosts int he boosts free spirit and he boosts slasher so you can build some very very good teams as you're seeing in this hybrid scenario utilizing the 10th anniversary monkey d luffy and realistically brook can actually hybrid up with all of the anniversary units you can hybrid up with shanks who's slasher focused you can hybrid up with ace who's a free spirit focus unit and you've got luffy boosting int so that's one cool thing about this unit is that you got really good hybrid scenarios overall so let's discuss why you would actually use him in, in other use cases. So his special ability is very, very unique. So first of which, he is the first character in the game, to my knowledge, that removes the silence debuff. Now that is not special bind. This debuff that he removes is the one where there's like a white speech bubble above the unit. You can't swipe any action on the unit. You can't swipe up. You can't swipe down. It's a really nasty debuff. I know that one of the bosses, I think that's the Gecko Moria mini boss in the Infinitum Sea of Co-op quest does inflict that to you. So this is a unit that you could potentially use in order to get around that so that's neat uh, moving past that though he does also state that if you have an orb boost when you launch the special it heals 31 percent of your max hp and then after that if you've launched the special when you have 30 percent or more health he prevents from defeat for one turn so you could actually use him in a scenario where the enemy does a death hit his special ability when you launch it when you're above 30 percent health allows you to tank any one hit from the opponent so that's a really neat effect that may see play moving forward in to the future. 
Furthermore, he does also boost your Int, Slasher, and Free Spirit characters uh, orbs by 2.75 for two turns. Remember, if you use him as a captain ability, he extends the duration of orb boosting specials by one. So his special ability, whilst using as a captain, actually becomes a three turn orb boost for Int, Slasher, and Free Spirit. And a 2.75 orb boost is, is respectable. It's not the best orb boost that we've seen in the game, but it's a pretty solid orb boost overall. Uh, furthermore, his special ability also provides the effect of a 30% damage bonus to the next final tap character that is Int Slasher or Free Spirit. Now that's also something really, really cool. Because of the way that Brook is designed, you actually can launch his special multiple times per quest very easily. Like, you can definitely get into a scenario where you can launch his special like three separate times, like once from his captain effect automatically activating below 30%, one time from a normal launch, uh, one time from using his super type to reduce his cooldown to launch it again. And remember that this buff of a final tap bonus doesn't expire until you hit with your sixth character on your crew. So this means you could use it like a bunch of times and then just don't hit six times in a turn, which means that when you finally do perform your ultimate burst, that you could just go ahead Head and have like a 90 to like a 120% final tap bonus for your next character. So that's honestly really neat. And you know, even though Brook does have final tap, you don't even have to final tap with Brook. As you're seeing in this instance here with Monkey D. Luffy from the 10th anniversary, you can just go ahead and ha like have him be your final tap character with his Rush Sugo special. So there's really cool scenarios where he could be used with um, with some of the other units that, that came out during the 10th anniversary, obviously. Um, his special ability does continue, though. It says that it will also uh, further increase your chain additive boosts by up to two times. So it means that your, your chain additions can be buffed twice instead of just normally, you know, buffing chain boost by one. You can have a, another special to, to further buff that effect. And because his super class provides a chain boost, that obviously works out pretty well. And then it also says that if his special ability is used in the same turn. So if you use two specials during the same turn, it increases your chain additive boosts by plus 0.7, which is pretty phenomenal by the way, and it further increases your orb boosts by plus 0.5. So if you use his special twice in the same turn, you can make Brook's orb boost become 3.25 and his chain boost from his super class become a 2.1. So Brook providing all of that by himself, but in order to get that, you need to find a way to give himself cooldown, which can be a little bit of an issue. Super class helps, but it doesn't provide everything. Everything. And finally, the last thing we're going to talk about with Brook before we wrap up the video is his final tap. His final tap is phenomenal, but considering he is a Kazuna Clash legend, it is going to be very difficult to max this final tap out. And because of the fact that we've had Rush Sugo specials come out that have, you know, been wanting to be used as the last tap during the turn, you know, we can use them either, either as the first or the last tap, or just like the last tap with like Psy Gear 5 Luffy. Final taps have definitely been on the back burner. They're definitely the weakest of the three premium potential abilities, but Brook's effect is very good. Now, in order to use it, you need to have four Straw Hats on the crew, uh, but Yorkie, Laboon, and Crocus all count towards it as well. So this is cool because you can actually use this final tap every single turn. As long as you fulfill the condition, you can literally use this final tap every single turn. It's not restricted to just the final stage. So I really like that about it. And the effect itself, when you hit with his final tap at level five, it gives himself an int slot and adds one times damage dealt from your normal attacks on top of other free spirit characters this turn for your final damage. So basically what this means is you tap with all of your free spirit units, you final tap with Brook, and however much damage your free spirit characters did before Brook gets added again on top of it. So if you do a billion damage with your other free spirit units, when Brook does his final tap, a billion extra damage gets added on top. So it basically doubles your damage from your free spirit characters. Now, Brook, even though he is free spirit, doesn't count towards this, but it's still really good. The only real problem is, is getting that maxed out might be difficult. And the overlap between him and other Rush Sugo specials that are fighting for that final tap could be also an issue, but I think it will see some play in the future. That's going to wrap it up for me though. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about Brook down below in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And that guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.